welcome everyone i am prashant kumar das a professor in the department of mechanical engineering iit kharagpur i uh, like to give a very short introduction to the nptel mooc course heat exchangers fundamentals and design analysis along with me there will be another teacher for this course professor indranil ghosh from the uh, cryogenic engineering center of the same institute that is indian institute of technology iit kharagpur uh, heat exchangers are probably known to many of you heat exchangers are uh, devices which facilitate exchange of thermal energy between two streams of fluid due to their temperature difference in some uh, unique cases there could be exchange of thermal energy between multiple streams of fluid or there could be thermal exchange between a fluid stream and uh, circulating uh, particulates solid particulates now heat exchangers are very unique and uh, very important industrial equipment and uh, we can find heat exchangers in various industries in a very large number in a very large variety now uh, if we see that in a country the per capita availability of electrical power that is taken as an in index of the advancement and globally most of the electrical power is generated through thermal route so in thermal power plant we will find uh, very unique uh, heat exchangers in a large number and uh, probably the existence of a thermal power plant can be perceived from a a uh, large distance by the site of big cooling towers which are used which are special heat exchangers and which are used by the thermal power plant for the dissipation of thermal <coughs> dissipation of thermal energy now nuclear reactors are also not uh, not exceptions that means when we try to generate thermal power from nuclear uh, power plant so there are also very large number of heat exchangers and uh, large num large design variety of heat exchangers are also seen in a nuclear power plant besides that uh, in refineries chemical process industries in food processing industries in manufacturing industries many different kind of heat exchangers can be seen as far as cooling is concerned be it refrigeration or air conditioning industrial cooling or cryogenics unique heat exchangers of very high efficiency are needed the success of next generation of integration in electronic component or next generation of high performance computing depends on effective thermal management which can be done through efficient heat exchangers and you see that heat exchangers are for uh, <coughs> transfer of thermal energy so it helps in reducing quote unquote the wastage of thermal energy which is very important so in that respect it helps us saving the fossil fuel which is depleting at a very high rate so the sustainability of the industrial growth the modern society that is dependent to a great extent on the heat exchangers so heat exchanger one way it is helping us to uh, save the thermal energy to conserve the thermal energy and directly and indirectly both ways it is also helping in the protection of environment as far as renewable energy sources are concerned like solar energy like ocean thermal energy or geothermal energy we can harness them effectively if we have good design of heat exchangers so from a glimpse of the use of vast use of heat exchangers and its utility it is not surprising that engineers need to know regarding heat exchangers 
In various engineering discipline, courses dedicated to heat exchangers are needed in senior undergraduate classes and also in postgraduate classes. Research scholars who are working in the allied field, they need an appraisal of heat exchanger. And practicing engineers who are working in the industry, they also need a course where the basics of heat exchangers will be taught, will be delivered and the fundamentals of analysis and design principle will be discussed. So, that these engineers are geared up and they can take up further learning uh, other aspects of heat exchangers like design, complete design of heat exchangers, manufacturing, maintenance, control, etc. From the from these requirements, we have proposed the present course called heat exchangers, fundamentals and design analysis. From the application cited, it goes without saying that there could be vast varieties of heat exchangers. So, our course starts with different classifications of heat exchangers, then it is followed by fundamental or basic analysis of heat exchangers which has been kept in the most generalized form. And once we do that, we go to specific heat exchangers like saline tube heat exchangers, compact heat exchangers, fin tube and plate fin heat exchangers, heat exchangers with phase change, micro scale heat exchangers, regenerators, heat pipes, etcetera. Besides that, we deal topics like fouling in heat exchangers heat exchanger testing and synthesis of heat exchanger network. Now, we welcome participants from different backgrounds, mechanical engineering, energy engineering, aeronautical engineering, cryogenics, etcetera, both in the undergraduate and postgraduate level. We also welcome the participants from different industries and research laboratories except for some basic background in thermodynamics, fluid mechanics and heat transfer. We do not have any prerequisite for this particular course. So, we are looking forward to have an exciting journey along with you to explore the unique domain of heat exchangers, their varieties, geometric cons configurations, thermal and hydraulic design, uh, performance, etcetera. Along with the two instructors I have mention, mentioned earlier, there will be three teaching assistants who will help you in uh, understanding further details. If you have some queries, etc., they will take care of it. And there will be time to time some sort of evaluation, so they will also help in this evaluation process. Basically, they will act as a liaison between the participants and the instructors. So, finally, I welcome again all of you to join this course and learn heat exchanger fundamentals and design principle. Thank you.